of talk about how AI is being used to solve problems at workplaces. We all know about AI being used to not delegate but elevate your work, but can you really give some palm off some responsibilities to AI? How are professions using it? So for example, how are doctors, engineers, lawyers, even journalists incorporating AI in their daily life? We thought we'd look at professions in specific to try and get concrete, actionable ideas for you. Let's talk about lawyers specifically today. And you know, a quote really comes to mind. Google CEO Sundar Pichai had once said that he is willing to bet that AI will increase the number of lawyers a decade from now. In fact, Goldman Sachs went ahead to say that they estimate that 44% of the current legal work task could be automated by AI. What will this do to the industry then? There was a survey done for leaders at law firms and legal professionals for Fortune 1000 companies and just in this year they've come out with some path-breaking findings. It says that 47% believe that generative AI will decrease costs. It also talks about 30% indicating that it will increase revenue and that 31% of law firms have already an AI budget and 90% are saying that they are surely going to invest in AI. So AI in law firms has arrived. The question is, how will it translate into usage here in India? So we thought we'll go around and ask some lawyers, do they really use AI? If yes, how so? And how are they managing or keeping up with AI. Here's what they said. AI in my practice, uh, no, per se, I haven't. But uh, in, as a party trick, we did use one of the popular generative AI tools. And I must say, I was very impressed with it. Uh, when it was asked the question about, uh, uh, you know, to say something nasty about NS Napinai, the response that came was NS Napinai is a very respected and renowned lawyer. It's inappropriate to ask this question. Seriously impressive, I must say. Uh, but, you know, whilst I may have not as used AI, I was very keen on actually developing an AI tool and that was nearly a decade and a half back. I guess I was ahead of my time at that time. Uh, something that would uh, be able to counsel you, to give you opinions, uh, to give you insights into what could be a possible outcome of a dispute, a litigation, a case management or data management, a studying um, contracts to give you an insight into where there could be a conflict. But remember, whatever an AI tool can do, ultimately, you need the person, the human behind the wheel. Well, yes, uh, uh, lots of um, uh, devices these days are AI enabled. And in addition to it, I do use some apps which are based on AI. I used uh, an app called Revert sometimes for writing. I have also I also use Perplexity, which is, which is there on my mobile. And uh, if I want want a outline about any subject, Perplexity helps. I would like. Uh, legal AI, which could uh, possibly uh, go through my briefs, uh, come out uh, uh, with uh, a list of dates, uh, the relevant case law, and possible lines of argument. That which younger lawyers uh, do in a senior advocate's office, if there is an AI which does everything like that, maybe that would be useful. All right then, so that's the current status of AI being incorporated by lawyers in India. But let's turn to an expert now. We are joined by Deepa Premkumar. She's partnered at Flintox and someone who's been watching the application of AI in our daily lives very, very closely. Good morning, Deepa. Welcome to The Breakfast Club. It's always lovely to have you. Uh, you know, we spoke, we got a bit of a reality check. The statistics we spoke about how globally people and companies are sort of incorporating AI or law firms are incorporating AI is much higher compared to how we look at uh, it being sort of used or adapted to in India. 
this comes at a time when the Chief Justice of India has also said that even judges should now incorporate AI and use it in some form. So, my first question really to you is how exactly can law firms, since India is also just catching up to it now, how can law firms and lawyers use AI now in a daily practice? It was, it was interesting to hear the senior advocates ask for some of those things AI could do because already AI is doing some parts of that in different uh, places of the world, right? So let me give you a few uh, instances of how AI today is shifting the legal profession. Technology used to exist earlier as well. And earlier, the law firms and lawyers would use technology to uh, find out what are the precedents, what are the previous rulings, and get that in. Um, so the earlier technology could collate data and collect it in one place. But artificial mm -hmm. intelligence today is able to understand that data. And that sonal is a big mm -hmm. shift because it's not just collating it. It understands that data, which means it's able to bring in that information and build on top. I'll give you three examples of how AI is being used by different law firms in the world today. First, hmm. it collects the data and then it creates drafts of the contracts, creates drafts of the filings that can be sent to court. Uh, there's a patent law firm which has been using it and that law firm says that they've been able to reduce the time of patent filing by 50% because the first draft is created by wow. artificial intelligence. It's able to understand that, mm. create the first draft. The second one, mm. it's able to make the legal jargon simpler. I'm sure you'll agree that you and I would have seen contracts and say, why do they write it like Absolutely. this? <laughs> why can't it be a little simpler so that we lay people could understand yeah. it? Lawyers don't need to spend so much time. So there is AI huh. and startups who are working on making that simpler, making that accessible. It's able to scan contracts, call out key sections of the contract and say, these are things that we should focus on. This is what will happen. Uh, this is the impact monetarily. This is the billing that we should send for clients and things like that. So it's able to read a contract, hmm. make sense of it, and give you the key points that you can actually work on, right? And the last hmm. one, this is my favorite example. AI is able to look at all the past rulings, the past hearings, and is able to oh. predict what a particular judge in a particular courtroom will pass particular motion. There's a company called Gavalatics, uh, Gavalatics, and they're able to use this predictive thing saying this is most likely what the judge will say to a ruling like this, to a appeal like this, to a motion like this. And that opens up a world of possibilities for lawyers because they can then use it and then think mm -hmm. about how can I play this differently? How should I approach the court mm -hmm. differently? So I've given you three examples. Yeah of how AI has shifted. Yeah, this is fab, Deepa, but you know, very quickly, I want to understand, I'm sure there are concerns as well, like everything with artificial intelligence on whether or not there will be a sort of breach of data or there, there are speculations and questions of security of these very, very sort of uh, top documents. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think data confidentiality, uh, data privacy is a key concern. Uh, we work with law firms and that's one of the co most common things that comes up saying, my client's data is confidential. I can't have it out there. I can't hand it over to some algorithm to include in some data set. Right. So that's uh, a yeah. key concern, a very valid concern that the law firms have. But today, Artificial intelligence has been able to create those bubbles. There are enterprise level AIs available, which do not let mm. your data go out into the universe. Uh, specifically designed uh, to keep your data set in your company sure. and not go out. So that yeah. is one. The second concern is around accuracy. Sometimes AI mm. does get ahead of itself, doesn't always give you accurate data and things like that. Accuracy mm. is a second key concern that comes up. Uh, there have been stories yeah, yeah. about some filings going wrong as well. There yeah. are hmm. specific AIs which are designed and built and trained on legal data like hard 